Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to this brand new virtual portfolio gallery tutorial. So this time we're going to be focusing on actually creating an interactive sound which toggles between uh, well, two sound clips basically. So this is my walkie talkie, obviously it does, it's not a model, this is just a placeholder. But if you were to put a model in here and you had something like a walkie talkie and you wanted the first sound to be um, you explaining the process of how you made that walkie talkie and then you wanted to you know, press the E key again to you know, play the actual sound of your walkie talkie so you might have edit, edited a sound clip which um, sounds like it's coming out of a walkie talkie then you could just press the E key again to initiate that so you could toggle in and out of each one by pressing the E key okay so the way we're going to do that I've actually got a box trigger just here anyway but I'm going to get rid of that and I'll start the whole process from scratch so we're going to go in and create a box trigger place it around the base just because um, you want this area um, from all sides to be exposed so your player can over overlap it basically so I'm gonna go make it fairly big like that let's go big up something like that just so the player can actually walk into that space and then he'll be able to initiate uh, the action um, okay so next we're gonna go into blueprints I'm gonna go to open level blueprints and we're gonna start placing this now we should have already set up the input action interact from the doors so you know when you created the doors and we had the input action interact we're gonna use the similar kind of thing let me just clean this up from before this was the um, foliage room intro so now we're gonna start with a new one um, we're going to go with a interact. So I'm just calling upon the action event that we set previously. Okay, if you don't know how to set this up, make sure you go and check out my interactive door uh, tutorial in this series. We're then going to go from pressed and we're going to add a gate. <clears throat> so the gate will obviously you enter the gate when you press E, it goes into this gate just here. Now to check to see if the gate is open, we need to select the box trigger which is already selected again you can name these things because it's good to have a clear um, workflow so you know where everything is and what everything's called not just box trigger one two three four fifty six fifty seven you know that kind of thing so box trigger walkie sound okay so walkie talkie sounds we're gonna right click here I'm gonna go to uh, begin overlap so what we're doing here is we're adding a on active begin overlap of the trigger box so whenever the player walks into there it's going to activate and we've got an end overlap as well so end overlap so this is going into open so basically when your character walks into the trigger box the walkie sound the one that we named it's going to open the gate and it's going to close the gate when the character ends the overlap with that trigger box okay so it's simple as that now we're going to come out from exit and we're going to first of all put in a flip flop <clears throat> a flip-flop basically is a toggle between two different actions so if I pressed E once then it's going to do one action if I press E again it's going to toggle to the second action so now what we do is we select the two audio files so I've got two audio files one which is me with an intro this is my walkie-talkie I created it by using the cube with it obviously you know it's just going to be me explaining how I made it within the engine right now which is just a cube um, very simple but yours would be more obviously have a bit more information I'm sure and then you've got this sound here which is a colleague of mine uh, of, of mine and um, he's got the sound of it coming out the walkie-talkie this is the unedited version so it doesn't sound like a walkie-talkie too much but it's, it's effectively the voice that would be coming through it uh, we had a slight weapons malfunction but uh, everything's perfectly all right now Okay, so we've got those two. We're going to click uh, both of those files by holding control, so both those sound files, and we're going to drag those in from the content browser into the blueprint window. So there will be overlaps, there's going to be two there. So I'm just going to drag uh, the walkie intro first, because that's the first sound that I want it to shoot off, and then I'm going to be um, dragging in the second. So I'm going to drag that one there. And that one there. Now you could think that's fine and that's done, but the effect, effectively, what's going to happen if I show you very quickly? If I go in and play this, if I press the E key once, this is my walkie talkie. Press the E key again. I created uh, it by using this is function, my walkie talkie. Uh, this is my walkie talkie. So you can see that it just keeps overlapping. Every time you press E, it plays that, plays that, plays that, plays that, plays that, plays that, without actually stopping the previous sound. So the way that we can do that, if I just break the link here by holding Alt and clicking. I'm going to move these aside to the right a little bit. I'm going to drag out from the return value over to the bottom left hand side. I'm going to go into stop. OK, 
okay and then I'm gonna also break the the white node link just here as well because I'm gonna be connecting something else up to it and now from the bottom right hand side I'm gonna drag up in a similar fashion but in the opposite direction uh, going up this time and just stop and then I'm gonna break the link on the white node just there I'm gonna link the A into stop and the stops gonna go into the other sound and then I'm gonna link B into the stop for the other sound and then that stops gonna go into the opposite sound so basically the way this works I'm gonna try and explain it as best as I can when you first hit E it checks to see whether this sound clip is actually stopped okay you can see that this stop is linked to this actual audio component okay so it checks to see if that stopped once it stopped it's gonna go in and play the first audio component just here which is the walkie intro now once it's finished playing that it's not going to do anything unless you go in and press the E key again and then it's going to go in and play. Um, it's going to first check to stop this audio clip and then it's going to play the second audio clip. Okay, So it's going to just basically stop the previous clip every time you press the E key so it doesn't actually overlap. So we're going to go in and we're just going to um, play this. Press the E key once. This is my walkie talkie. Uh, we again. had a slight web. This is my... Uh, we had a slight weapons malfunction. This is my... So you can see what happens there, it's toggling between the two. Okay guys, so that brings the end to this tutorial. Um, if you liked what I've done here and you think it's useful, then please do hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe because I'm going to be having more tutorial series uh, coming out very soon. Um, which should obviously help you develop your skills in Unreal Engine and 3ds Max and other pieces of software as well. So stay tuned guys, and I'll catch you next time.